Hi there, it's Sam from Poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a beautiful bag that has been hand painted. It's not really been hand painted. It's called the Black Magic Technique. I take absolutely no credit for this technique whatsoever. The amazing Janice Thompson from my team, who is a Scottish demonstrator, and she's on YouTube as Jazzle Dazzle. Um, she showed this technique way back in February last year, and I was kind of waiting for the right project for it, and then I forgot about it, and then I thought, when I was uh, prepping for my non-Christmas projects at Christmas time, I thought, oh, what can I do, what can I do, what's a good all year rounder, and then I remembered her amazing technique. Now I'm hoping that my lighting isn't so good that you can't see this, but basically I have got coloured stamping on here, I'm going to show you how to do it, and like I say, Janice calls it the black magic technique, and it absolutely is, it's like alchemy. Okay, so let's quickly make the bag. 8 by 11 inches, 20 by 28 centimetres. On the long side, score it at one and a half, five and a quarter, six and three quarters, ten and a half inches, which in metric is four, thirteen and a half, seventeen and a half, twenty seven. Turn it round and score it at. I was trying to put four inches, thinking that's not right. Uh, let's do it this way one and a half inches four centimetres. It's the way I've got my notes written down. I've got them written imperial above metric and normally I have imperial to the left and metric to the right and I'm looking going four inches? That's not right. <laughs> okay so um, I want to get this burnished and whoops and trimmed but obviously I'm not going to make the bag or put it together until after I've done my stamping, heat embossing and all of that stuff. So, okay, so we need to trim away this part here. And I'm just going to take off a tiny little, little whisper there. And then straight up here, here, and here. And so when this box comes around to close, this is going to be the front and that will be the back. So the panel, the large panel closest to the very thin one, that's the back and this is where we need to do our work. Okay, so I've got my embossing buddy and I'm hoping it's not too powdery because I don't want to make my cardstock grey, but I do want to knock off some of the dust. Oh, sorry, some of the static. Now I've got my stamp sets or stamp set, touches of texture, beautiful stamp set, such a versatile stamp set, love it, love it, love it, um, and I've got this one here, oh I forgot to say, last day of the sale today, um, it's been an online extravaganza, three 48 hour sales, I'm filming this about five days before the sale actually happens, no idea whatsoever that's in this. Maybe this was in it. I don't know. I don't know. Wish I did. Okay, so I'm going with that one first. Whoops. And I've got my Versamark here. I'm going to go off to one side and stick that down. And then I'm going to come in with the dragonfly that's just in the top corner. I'll grab another block. that up again with Versamark. And over there, so you can see that. Right, so I need a scrap piece of paper. I haven't got a scrap. I'm going to use, oh no, I can't use that. Uh, um, here we go. Let's rip a sheet out of my notebook. And I've got my white embossing powder. There's a lot of static on there, despite me brushing it first. Let's pour that back. And I've got a couple of, I've got a, let me brush here, because I can see, and I don't know if you can, but I've got a few flecks there. 
it shouldn't be there. Right, and now I've got my heat gun. So if you've got full volume on, turn it down a little bit, because I'm going to heat this up. And this is currently powder, and I need it to heat up and melt. So, just warming this on my hands a little bit. Um, and I don't know if I can get it to an angle where you'll be able to see at all. just beginning to change. It's going brighter white. And you need to make sure that every single bit of the powder has turned to uh, liquid because otherwise it won't work. Okay, so let me pop that off for a second because I do need it to, to, to cool down a little bit. And what I've got a blends, and blends is what you're going to colour with because, you know, they're alcohol markers and they work brilliantly. I've just grabbed a handful um, of colours that I think would work very well. But we've got, you know, so many colours, I couldn't even tell you how many colours we've got. Lots. Um, I've got here, what colour have I got here? Lovely lipstick, and I do know I deliberately pulled that one out because I've got the ribbon to go with it. Um... Rich Razzleberry, so that's those two are dark ones. I've got Dark Flirty Flamingo, Dark Highland Heather, oh, we've got all the dark ones, Light Mango Melody, uh, Light Night of Navy, and Dark Call Me Clover. So, okay, that's beginning to work now. And all you do is colour over. So if I zoom in, and hope that I remember to zoom out, there we go, and you just gently colour over it. And I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, let's have this one on the wings. Hopefully you can see that it's changing colour. There we go. Oh, you can see that now. And I love it. What a clever technique. Totally bespoke stamping. So a bit of this blue. You know what? I'm going to come over with the big brush just to make life a little bit faster. Oh, isn't that pretty? When it's shiny still too, which is also very good. Shiny bespoke stamping colouring. Love it. Okay, let me smooth, smooth, move this over to here where you can see this one. I'm sorry about that. I hope I've spliced this together okay. I was trying to zoom back out and it said turn your camera off. Okay, to turn me off. Right, so I'm coming in with the dark warmy clover. Or oh, maybe I was better with the pale on the first one. Oh well. And despite the fact that I'm going over the edges, you really can't see it, actually. A little bit of this light mango melody in the centre of the flowers. And I'm going to get that in first. still see. A dark puppy lipstick on these flower buds here. it you can see all the color differences you can definitely see the green and you can see that gorgeous dragonfly so let me zoom back out and I'm splicing together for a third 
time. Seriously, my camera does not like autofocus or being focused. Um, but it's just lovely. You can see the colours are coming up beautifully. Um, it's not grey in real life, although it seems to be showing up dusty on the top. It's not. But it's the whole contrast of black and white and filming and auto colour and all of that. Right, so let's finish off by getting this bag together. So my paper piece gone. There it is. So that's down the thin edge. So that obviously now we definitely know that's the back. And some more along this part here. And then just simply pinch together oops, and punch a hole so you can um, string your ribbon through. which is this colour here, although obviously, you know, it's not particularly showing up. So I'm going to go through from the back and pop out of the front. Oh! And then I'm going to come over the top. I'm going to go over there and back in through this hole. And we need to get that off at an angle. So you can see how that's going. And when you pull it tight, it pinches it all together. So I'm just going to grab a clip to hold it together while I tie the bow. the long tails but they are just a smidge too long. Pop that undone. And so that holds together beautifully at the top, it's not going to come undone at all and it's quite a nice little detail and that is lush. I love that bag, love the look of it. So gorgeous, black magic, definitely. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me, hope to speak to you very soon, bye.